I know you all are waiting with bated breath for the big vice presidential debate tomorrow night. Just kidding. No one cares. Um, <laughs> yeah. Here's the New York Times setting things up, <laughs> trying their darndest to make this interesting. Ooh. Now has big consequences. Yeah, no one I cares. mean, Nobody look, cares. <laughs> the reality yeah. is nobody is showing up to vote for either Mike Pence or Kamala mm. Harris. That is the reality. Um, vice presidential candidates and debates rarely matter. I actually think the Biden Paul Ryan one kind of did. Yeah. Because Paul Ryan had been so pumped well, they up. They built him up. They built him up by the right. And when he really failed to deliver, I think that was a detriment to the Romney campaign. You never know something crazy could happen here that would be detrimental as well. There was a little bit of drama and sort of posturing right. over the type of safety measures that would be put into place. Because remember, I mean, Mike Pence has tested negative for coronavirus up to this point, but obviously he's faced exposure from any number of now infected people within the Trump orbit. The Biden campaign insisted on basically like a plexiglass separator, which I think is entirely reasonable. So they'll be socially distant. They'll have their plexiglass separator and they'll go forward as usual tomorrow night. Yeah. So, I mean, look, this is probably how it should be. However, I don't think it raises any stakes. What it really comes to mind is like what is going to happen with the presidential debate? And I think that that is the question that we're all asking. Obviously, that debate was supposed to happen, I think, on October 13th, um, whenever that was scheduled. There's just no indication that that is even possible at this point. Yeah. However, what they're considering, this is what we wanted to share with all of you, is that Biden, is that basically they are considering a Zoom debate. That's under consideration. Now, we don't know exactly whether that's going to happen or not. But Joe Biden did address this yesterday out on the campaign trail. Let's take a listen to what he said. Look, if the doctors listen to the science, if the scientists say that, I'm sorry. The scientists say that it's safe and the distances are safe, then I think that's fine. I'll do whatever the experts say is the appropriate thing to do. I think it's a very yeah. smart approach, right. basically, you know, sure, because I'll do it. there's yeah. I mean, there's a, always been this big push of like, oh, Biden's not up to the debate challenge and he's going to try to put it off. Mm -hmm. Remember, Nancy Pelosi floated like he shouldn't right. even he shouldn't do even these go. debates. Yeah. They've been very careful to always say, no, of course, we're going to do the debates. And I think this fits very much in that vein. But it is a big question mark. Um, we'll see how, you know, the president says he's doing great and he's doing fine. He's never felt so good in 20 years or whatever. I think the doctors would say something very different. We don't know what the course of his illness is going to be. So all of that still kind of a question mark over whether it's going to happen, whether it can happen in person, whether that would be safe or not. Um, a Zoom debate. <laughs> Yeah, so Trump was bad. bad in the first Two one. Two old men, like, yeah. yelling at each other with headphones As people on. who do this for a living, <laughs> we cancel people's mics out whenever you talk over one another when you're interviewing them over Zoom. Good luck, man. It's That's going to suck. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. I guess the one thing is, in terms of, like, the Trump annoyance level, yeah. you will be able to just, like, mute him That's when true. it's not his turn. So That's it might true. be a little more orderly. But but I'm not sure I'm cool with that. I don't really want people to be muted. Well, but that, yeah. and that is the thing. Yeah. is like our stance on the show has been basically, look, if they want to be jerks and mm -hmm. obnoxious, let the American let people it. see it and judge for themselves. And judging by the polls that came out of last week's debate, they certainly did. Yep, That's right. Tomorrow on Rising, friend of the show, The Intercept's Glenn Greenwald is going to be back, and the Trump campaign is going to give us an update on whatever is going on right now in the campaign after the president's coronavirus hospitalization. That's right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.